we should be very uh, concerned when we see efforts that want to uh, recategorize who we are. Because our community has a definite line of progression. And all of it is very important. And we can't dismiss any of it. And we can't uh, relabel any of it unless it's in the tradition, in the line of the tradition. If it's in the line of the tradition, there's no trouble. For example, um, Masjid Malcolm Shabazz in New York, that was temple number seven, okay? Uh, Muhammad's temple of Islam, number seven. And then Muhammad's mosque, okay? When Imam W.D. Muhammad became leader, he renamed it Masjid Malcolm Shabazz. So that name was suitable in the interest of the progression of our life because uh, the well-known national representative of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm Shabazz, had made the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's teaching and the Nation of Islam teaching popular, and that was his foundation, that was his point of reference in New York City. So Malcolm, in uh, uh, being a key factor for popularizing the teaching of the Nation of Islam and the membership of the Nation of Islam, and him being the minister of the temple there in New York, then it made perfect logical sense for Imam W.D. Muhammad to name, to rename that masjid, Masjid Malcolm Shabbat. The Imam, one time, the Imam of that masjid, they had an idea to establish another masjid or build a masjid that was uh, like diagonal, diagonal from Masjid Malcolm Shabazz across the street. And they were going to call it another name, Masjid something else. And when the person, the, the imam, when he started to talk about it, uh, and uh, Imam W.D. Muhammad was there commenting, he didn't comment on the, the name that they wanted to change it to. He just referred to it as Mal Masjid Malcolm Shabazz. He continued to refer to it as Masjid Malcolm Shabbat, even though this imam was saying Masjid so-and-so, which was enough. The imam didn't have to correct it. In other words, the, the name that this person or the persons were thinking to change it to was not in the progression. And so they got, they, 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 uh, they are very intelligent people and they understood the message. The imam didn't have to call it out. Now, if they had all gone on record and uh, they had actually built that place and named it something else, then certainly, uh, uh, I believe, being a spiritual person, that the angels, Allah's angels, would have cursed them for that wrong that they did, would have done. But they didn't do that. It didn't happen. Thank Allah for that. So when we see changes that uh, affect the uh, character of our community, we should be concerned about that. And we have to speak against it if, because it's a form of oppression, especially when the language is not clear and no effort has been made to make the language clear so that we will be convinced that it's in the progression because nobody's going to differ with something that's in the progression. If it's a better uh, uh, way of addressing the need, then we would support that. But uh, if it's something that somebody else suggested, and now you're introducing it to us, or saying that this is the new way we're going to refer to this, and there's no reference to our progression, there's no reference to the, to the significance within the, the um, its significance, the change of name significance in the context of the progression of our life, then it's foul. It's out of order.